Good morning, everybody. It is hump day. Guess what day it is? Jenna Jekyll Bates, and this is your workshop update. I normally do these things in one take, so there's very little editing because it's just a kind of a quick deal to show you guys what's going on in the shop. This morning, I'm, I'm going to break it into two shots here because I really need to hustle to get a couple of these baits out um, in the mail this morning. So I always I always try and give you guys a 14 day turnaround on quick orders on auctions and then on special orders and website orders it's 14 to 20 days normally um, May June it slows down in July but May and June April is pretty crazy too but those are my busiest times so it's gonna be back and there were quite a few big orders that came through this past couple of months so coming in the home stretch on those there's lots of cool patterns to show you but one of the things that we're going to start off with and these are going out this morning and then of course these let me show you these real quick because i love the way these shirts have come out i have them in black and white um and it's just an affordability issue if i don't order bulk shirts like a thousand or a hundred at a time it's really expensive for my clients my customers and it's expensive for me and as a small business person um, i prefer to try and get the the better deals on some of the better quality products when they become available so that's why sometimes you're going to see limited color runs but these flag shirts especially the the black and white ones that we did this year uh it's this it's a spring summer tea it's a quality product these are tagless Hanes um, you'd pay anywhere from 12 to 15 just for the shirt alone even in a Walmart um, they're lightweight a lot of them uh, I do have a moisture wicking option in this which is a little bit more expensive but look at the color transfer on this flag I mean that just I'm stoked I'm real happy with how these came out so I got to get those out in the mail but real quick let me show you let me get these out of the way an American bullfrog and there's quite a few patterns that you guys have never seen before um, and a, a couple including this one that you have but I want to talk a little bit about these this particular blank it's not a very expensive blank but it's pretty well made it is from overseas but it's the same blank that Bass Pro Shops uses on a lot of their um, proven poppers and what I like about them, if you can see that ball that sits in the back there, it doesn't move forward. It provides you with a rattle, a really good knock sound, and you got another one midway uh, just underneath that belly eyelet. The cool thing about the way this sits is because this doesn't slide back and forth, it keeps this bait positioned in the water exactly the way you want it to be. So it makes this a really excellent choice that's, that's a really cool option for your not paying $25 for a mega bass popper you know you know you guys know what I'm saying and you get a quality product um, so this is the American Bullfrog that's my pattern for I've got it on the website it's been on the website for a while um, but it's a very effective summer pattern the other thing that I want to show you I talked a little bit about this the other night on Facebook these crappies now this is a hard stencil the stencil comes from Jonas Summers at Lure Color Studios I've seen it other places you just have to look around I can only tell you where I've gotten it from and he did he did a fantastic job on the hard stencils and this is a few years back so he's since updated and, and added a ton more so if you go to Lure Color Studios online I can leave you that link in, in the description below uh, I know also Cedar Run has got some cool stuff Andrew does it um, a lot of the stuff stateside but I just, um, when I was doing this, when I first started out, there really wasn't anybody that was doing hard cut laser cut stencils or 3D uh, printed, you know, cut stencils other than Jonas Summer. And he's in Australia and he's a real cool guy, an incredible airbrush artist. Uh, this is a 1.5 and it's holographic, the blank I got from Dinger and very effective in the summer very very effective and it's one of the most overlooked patterns i used to see this pattern all the time when you would go on any of the facebook pages any of the fishing groups any of the buy sell auction online pages um bbc so if you guys don't know what bbc is most of you probably should it's uh, bass boat central and that's canadian run but there's you can get some cool stuff on there too they do um they do sells and auctions and stuff like that there 
I used to be um, one of the sponsors way, way back in the day before I realized that it was really expensive. Um, but he does, he's got like 3 million viewers and just, it, it's a good, it's a good venue to, to promote yourself. This is just, don't overlook this pattern, folks. Don't do it. What is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, I brought my coffee in. Hey, this next guy is a pop art pattern. It's uh, holographic. You can see a little bit of that. That's on the inside of the blank. This is also a dinger blank. The original pop art pattern. You guys know I love doing a lot of ghost type stuff that's transparent where there's no primer underneath of it. This is basically just a three color spray. It's fluorescent sunburst on the belly and into the mouth. Sepia, little pattern on the sides. And then a detail black magenta sprayed across the back. The only thing that I've done on that, you can see there's lots of glittery type stuff. That's Comart, folks. That's a Comart opaque pearlescence, and it's really not opaque. Um, the pearl is solid because it's just a, a real fine mist of glitter. But it's in a fluid and it shoots really well, sprays really well, don't need to reduce it at all. And all I've done is just blended the orange into the light sepia, detail black magenta. Phenomenal. I, I fish a lot of skinny water, a lot of clear water. I might keep this one for me because I don't really, I don't normally have the time to spray for myself anymore. Um, but I do like a good simple top water and this is one of them, super effective. I've fished stuff like this in the past and and done really, really well, especially early, early morning or late evening, right before dark hits. Um, but yeah, creek and small skinny water in the summer is where it's at for me. I love bull shoals, I love Norfolk, I love Table Rock, I love all of that stuff, but um, in the summer, there's nothing better to me than to, to grab some top water bite and skinny water. There's that. You guys have seen my craws before. Love those eyes. Blends right in with the shades that I have on this. And, and again, there's no black on this. This is all that detail black magenta. I love that color. It is a phenomenal detail color. It's the Wicked line of detail. And their Wicked's entire detail line is really good. Got a little paint on that. Got it off. But their, their line of detail inks and paints is phenomenal. So, And this will dig down. This is a Creek Dodger, I call it. Um, very similar colors to what's going on all over the United States this time of year. It will dig on the bottom of the creeks. It'll go, it'll go like five to seven if you really pull it down and troll it hard. Um, but what I like to do is dig it on the bottom and then let it drift up and then bring it back down. While I love this pattern, bass love this pattern, a lot of people ask me, why are you putting crawfish on top water? And why are you putting crawfish on? I'll tell you what, if you've, I'll have to, I'll have to show you some pictures of some of, some of my guys that fish craws in upstate New York for walleye. It's unreal the size and stuff that they're catching. So don't rule it out. It's just something else that the fish haven't seen, and it's a very effective color. So, and those eyes, man, that was a one-off. I've never found them again. Uh, I got a card of a hundred. I think it was on Amazon, and it was about a year ago. And I'd never really paid much attention to it. I love the patterns. Uh, it's a random pattern. It's it's like a freshwater pearl pattern. Let's see if I can find them. And there we go. This is what they look like. Um, and it just came on a clear card. The stuff that you see behind that is, um, it's that stuff from Lure Parts Online. But these, these did not come from Lure Parts Online. It came just, I just found it. And I've never been able to find it again. So I'm very stingy about what baits I put them on. But when, when you have something that's going to match that close, it's just super cool. Why not? Good deal. You guys haven't seen this pattern before because I've never sprayed it before. This is another one of Russ Allen's um, stencils that's on here. And I really like it. And this, there we go. I was going to say that's not doing it justice. I don't know why it's 
Wow, that LED light really washes it out. This one, so this is the right color. It's just way too loud um, when I get it under the lights, but this is what you're looking at right now. That is the actual color. And this is um, a fluorescent red and a fluorescent orange blended with a fluorescent yellow on the belly. So this is a super bright bait. This is going up to the Buffalo Man. This is part of his. And I'm making him some extra stuff because he's asked for them. Um, he's, and if you guys are interested, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do it. Um, almost like a mystery tackle box, but custom baits. So I've had a few client requests for stuff like that where they just want six baits of my choice, spraying them every single month for a set price. And I'm happy to do it. And uh, this is one of his for July. And they're all going into that great big bass mailbox and going up to Kansas this weekend. So this is fun. Super glittery. Um, lots of fun on this. And Russ Allen, Insane Custom Stencils on his stencil. Same with this deal. i put you back under the light. It's just, it's just this one color that's just so loud. I don't know why the white the light does that to it. This is an interesting spray as well. It's got a little bit of red. Um, that chartreuse. It's a reverse um, shad pattern. It's that bright white dot on the side of it, and then a little bit of flame stencil. This is off of Russ's rat stencil. He uh, he was excited to see what I would come up with. So I'm starting to play around with them a little bit and look at the different types of patterns that I can try and make unique and come up with this is also one I like the two-tone on this of course I like those UV fluorescent glow eyes in chartreuse matches the bottom of the bait um, this would be a knockout anywhere in the south and also at Table Rock Table Rock for some reason they love the purple and yellow and chartreuse so just a little something different you guys haven't seen nor have you seen my new sprayed grass this is sprayed grass So I did a couple of baits in a fluorescent blue and lime green. This was the first one you guys saw. And this is the second pattern. I really like this pattern as well. This would even make a, a decent inshore saltwater bait or a walleye bait. And he's got, I don't know what's going on with you guys, but you, everybody's ordering S-Cranks this time of year. I, I can't keep them in stock, and, and I'm, I'm blowing up uh, Brian all the time for them. So everybody wants these S's. That's okay. That's a cool pattern. Love this pattern. Almost looks like clouds on the bottom, or ocean. But this is the sprayed grass. This is going to be going on the website for 2019 S-Crank Patterns. Um, may do these, but I think I want Dirk to test these. These are fresh sprays, never been tested. I want these to be proven before I'll put them on the website. So, Dirk, when you, when you get these, I need catches, pictures. This is the Violet Gill. We've got per, uh, purple, plum, a metallic blue, and then underneath that we've got the traditional orange and blue pumpkin seed colors in a wrap. Also like that one like the blending that happened around the cheeks. Last but not least, you guys have seen the pattern before. This is my green sunny, the winter green pattern on an S-crank. I may have done this one other time months and months ago. Uh, Michael Ornstein requested this pattern. We did a bait swap. I love doing bait swaps, but I really like the way this turned out. blended down real well and that's just wet on wet and what I mean by that it's a it's a painting an artist kind of a phrase it means that you're not heat setting in between colors that's all that means it means that you're leaving one color wet 
not heat setting, adding the next. And this is a Wicked Gold and a, I want to say a Wicked Detail Burnt Orange or Burnt Sienna. I'm sorry, the orange is darker. Orange, it's, you'd think that it would be lighter, but it's not. So Wicked Burnt Sienna into a pearlized purple. A little bit of um, Detail Black Magenta Overspray and then all hand detail with a brush an artist round um, I'll show you this is not the right size I use a smaller size a thinner one but this is what a round brush looks like there you go and that's all hand detailed with that type of brush so that is all the news that's fit to print on hump day hope you guys have enjoyed this little session got a bunch more coming up I'm gonna be putting some pores some uh, acrylic pores on there I said that I would last time I have yet to be able to do it I've just been spraying so you're probably gonna see a couple of those if you're interested in that type of stuff if not just skip over it if you guys are just here for the fishing I can certainly understand that and uh, I love all y'all so I do more than just spray I am an artist for a living so I do canvas stuff as well on commission and for clients and customers uh, also photography so if it's in the realms of visual art then I'm all over it that's how I make my way in this world have a great day thanks for stopping by as always I appreciate you guys on the channel spending a little bit of time with me I hope I've been able to show you a couple of different things and if you have questions leave me some comments below I would love to answer questions I get to every single one of them thus far although the comments usually do keep growing I try to get you guys uh, as soon as I can so I'll see you on the water Happy casting. See ya.